What is good, people? It's the Ronsky here back. HTML tutorial. Do not be fooled. We are talking about tables, uh, but uh, we're, t we're going to get into it a little bit more. Um, in uh, a previous video, we, we just talked about the basics of tables, the table structure. Basically, making the table and creating the rows of the table and um, just using um, regular th tags, uh, table headings. But we are going to get into new tags that HTML5 provides us to, you know, control the structure a little bit better of tables. So if you remember, this is what the HTML looked like um, for the, you know, the first table markup we made, just the basic tables. You know, that's what I'm going to title it, basic tables. And this is uh, the output of the basic table. No CSS, no, no styles to it, just it looks, you know, like that. And you could style this. It wouldn't be very hard to style this. You would most likely need the uh, uh, class, class, class selectors, which is beyond the scope of this uh, tutorial. But we'll get into selectors in another video. Anyways, that is the basic tables. Now let's move on to the advanced tables. Um, if you watch my previous video, you'll um, you'll notice that I introduced the um, link tag which provides us with um, styles for our web page and just a refresher link tag the attribute rel um, set equal to style sheet and the href attribute set to the file path where the um, cascade style sheet is located but we will get into CSS uh, in future videos let's talk about the advanced tables you've seen the basic table tag Nothing new there, but uh, you may notice this new one I have is caption. Basically, it's the title of the table, and I have it here as basketball 2015 point turnout. All right, this is made up points, so uh, I just made up this table pretty quick. It actually didn't even take that long to like 15 seconds. So, uh, caption is basically uh, the the caption of the table, the title of the table, um, and this is where. Uh, we get into the structure of the table a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, I have a T head, which uh, it stands for uh, table heading. HTML HTML5 uses that uh, semantic uh, element naming. So T head is T T head is table heading. Um, T body is table body, and then T foot is table footer. So let's go back up to the T head. Notice I have just a regular um, row, and then two table heading elements, uh, one with name and one with points. That defines the head section and that defines up here. I hope you can see me highlighting this, but that's the table heading. This is the caption, there's the table heading. And you notice this is all uh, styled, so don't worry about the styles, it's just to point out the elements a little bit better. But that's the T head, this is the caption. And when we get into the T body, the actual data of the um, the table, you have to remember the first column is for name, second column is for points, and you notice I have a name for the first data cell for each row, and then for the second column I have uh, the points for each uh, data cell. Five rows, and um, you can see that right here. Five rows. First column is for name, second column is for points. Now the last um, the last row is the T foot, which basically all we do is we leave uh, one data cell empty because we're not really doing anything there. I mean, we could count up the number of players if we wanted to. But uh, for the sake of this, I just you know, wanted to you know, count up the number of points uh, total which I put in the second um, data cell. So, and you can see that right here in the T foot. It's all the way over here. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to introduce in this video. Um, basically what these HTML, HTML5 is all about uh, semantic naming of elements to make it I don't know, easier, I guess. It, it's it's pretty easy to understand. So it, it, it also allows you to um, 
to pro provide more structure to elements. So you know, allows you to. It also allows you to style a lot easier uh, when you're styling your your tables or whatever you're styling. So that is it for this video, and um, thanks for watching. In the next HTML tutorial, what we'll, 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 we'll be doing, we will be discussing the iframe element, which provides for um, multimedia purposes. So we'll get into that in the next video. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and drop a message, drop a comment, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Later.